Wellness Small Animal Hospital, loving our work. I'm Dr. Jim Kramer. This is Dee Dee. She's a four pound spayed female Maltese poodle cross and you can see she's carrying her left hind leg completely. She won't even put it down. And here is why. Her kneecap is not in the right position. It slides off medially. So this is a medial luxating patella. It luxate toward the other leg. Post a ride up and down in a trough called the trochlear groove, but that's not happening. The surgical procedures we use to correct this are extremely successful. It is three separate procedures all done on the same leg at the same time. I start by making a lateral incision approach to the stifle joint and then harvesting a triangular shaped piece of the fascia lata that we're going to use toward the end of the procedure to imbricate the joint. The next step is to deepen this trochlear groove by doing a trochlear block recession. So we make cuts on either side of the femoral condyles and then chisel out a rectangular piece of bone that's covered with articular cartilage. The purpose of this is to deepen the trochlear groove while preserving the articular cartilage. So we remove this trochlear block, set it aside, deepen the groove, and then replace it. There it is. Now I'm going to use my bone saw to deepen the groove on either side and then chisel out the bottom with an osteotome to make the groove deeper and then put the trochlear block back. So now that I've deepened the trochlear groove, I replace the trochlear block and I am pulling the patella back in place where it's supposed to be. We don't need to do anything else to secure the trochlear block in place. That strong patella ligament will hold it in place until it heals. The tibial tuberosity sits just below the joint and its purpose is to give a place for the patellar tendon to insert. The whole reason this happened in the first place is because that tibial tuberosity is in the wrong spot. So we dislodged it with an osteotome, moved it over to where it's supposed to be, and held it in place with a small Steinman pen. Now I'm taking my triangular piece of fascia lata and affecting the joint imbrication as we had planned. That's the third procedure in the trio. These three procedures done together are very robust. Here's Dee, Dee 12 days post-surgery, and you can see she's already using her leg. She's not carrying it completely. She is lame, but she is using her leg with every step. As long as this continues, she will rehab herself, and this will be a big success. These surgeries do tend to be extremely successful. They solve the problem permanently and completely. Here's Dee, Dee one month after the last video and you can see how well she's doing incredibly well. A dog this small, if their leg is any kind of annoyance, they just carry it because they don't really need it. So this is a triumph, although not surprising. Columbus Small Animal Hospital, loving our work.